is going on? We're back in the chair of wisdom. And so in today's video, I want to make it into a Mykonos vlog. So basically about seven or 10 days ago, I went to Mik... Are you, no, are you gotta be f So about seven to 10 days ago, I went to Mykonos and it was honestly one of the best trips of my entire summer, if not the best. So yeah, I just wanna kinda sit down, and have a chat with you guys, talk about it, because uh, travel is obviously something that I'm hugely into. I think it's just, it's so good for your mind, your character, and everything. And it's a big part of this channel recently anyways. And of course, there is some food and fitness in there as well. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. So I went over as I was collaborating with a hotel called Myconian Villa collection okay so i was creating some content for them some photos some videos as you'll see here and i'm happy to say that i couldn't leave a more positive review of the place okay the the room was just absolutely amazing so it's all white so greek and then you walk out and there's just like this infinity pool overlooking this this valley like this the sea the cliffs the resort itself it's just absolutely 10 out of 10 and uh, the staff were absolutely amazing too i think polite staff you know good manners friendly you know funny kind of light humored and just easy going like i think that really kind of creates the atmosphere for hotel so the staff were so awesome there it's got a gym and a spa so you can get a full body massage there which i did do also got little bit of a facial because I'm getting old and I got to look after this skin. I did also do some hotel workouts as well, but to be honest, a lot of time I was outside, I was on the beach, it's on a place called Elia Beach, so I was like going for swims there and runs, uh, so I wasn't inside too much at all. I think it would be a shame to spend a lot of time inside when you're in Mykonos. So the views when you're eating the food is just absolutely amazing. Of course, I'm gonna really go on about the food here, but so I was there like eating pancakes and there'd be like yachts in the harbor, helicopters, Helicopters taken off. It is just so pleasant, so nice, and all the guests were chill people as well. I kind of met some some cool characters like myself down at the pool too and in the restaurant. It also does have like some healthy options too. Like you can get like egg whites, lean proteins, veggies. So I'm always kind of like happy with that if I can hit my protein intake while I'm traveling. And then of course I did also go hard on the pancakes as well and the Nutella and the peanut butter. Like how could you not? Like, you know, I, I kind of waited towards for not the first couple of days. So like I looked all right for pics. Then we went in on the pancakes. So I brought my sister for the first few days of the trip and uh, maybe you'll, you'll kind of recognize her from my social media her name's Roz, Rosalind, Roz and Rob. We've been best friends our whole entire life and she actually just had a baby this year and I'm the godfather of the child so it's obviously very difficult raising a baby you know like it's, it's quite stressful so I felt she really needed a break so I kind of surprised her with this trip that was kind of one of the best things about the whole trip is being able to give back to your family um, that, that's probably one of the best feelings you can you can really do. Like earlier on the year in June, uh, I surprised my whole family with a trip to LA. And again, that was another highlight of my summer. So see, help yourself where you can help others. But when you are in that position, giving back is, is the most fulfilling feeling you, you can get really. Another funny part, because I went my sister, the place, Mykonos in general, is so couple-y, okay? It is like couples retreat. So everyone thought that me and my sister were together, but we just kind of laughed that off and thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, again, that's all you can really do. So yeah, it is a real couple-y place, but there is some amazing bars and nightclubs there too. I wouldn't recommend it for like a lad's trip, um, but you can still definitely go out and have a good time, which we absolutely did. Myconian actually, before we left, um, gave us a grand tour of the biggest villa they have in the entire place. There's like big pianos, massive beds, like these beautiful, this really long outdoor pool. There was like a barbecue area. It was honestly so nice. And we didn't stay there, but it's very motivating me to even be in that type of place like one day again i'd love to bring a group of friends back there or bring my extended family back there you know just a huge group in there and just have an amazing week we did also manage to hit the gym about three or four times that week so we did some hotel workouts but there's actually a really good kind of old school bodybuilding style gym uh, called the body works just near to mykonos town i stuck mainly to full body workouts and I'll actually link my entire full body routine then in the description box i did a video on 
this. Uh, but that's what I do mainly when I'm traveling, stick mostly to compound movements too. But the gym is really cool and I've looked up kind of pictures of it. I saw people like Steve Aoki, Callum Von Moger, Dan Bazerian have all trained there when they were in Mykonos too, so it's pretty cool. So after a couple of days, uh, my sister left to go home and mind her baby. She didn't want to be away for too long. So I spent a day on my own in Mykonos and was actually delightful. I would consider myself an extrovert, but you know, we can all be introverted at times. And like, I live on my own. I really value my alone time. So I actually had a great day. Then I had a mate come join me, uh, just keep me some company. And we had, Honestly, okay, this is the best thing we did in the whole week, was go on a catamaran cruise, okay? You go into Mykonos Town Center, there's like loads of kind of, you know, offices and places that you can go to. We went to one like right in the very center, and you basically pay, uh, it's not that expensive, it's like one or 200 euro, and that's for an entire day of sailing, free bar all day, and the most delicious food you'll ever eat, cooked literally on front of you. Like, you have like a chef, a captain, crew members, and like they're just, they're so nice, they're there for you ever need. Food is just cooked fresh in front of you, and it's like seafood, pasta, it's so good, real kind of Greek salads and everything. And here's kind of the funny thing that I wanna talk about, right? So we went onto the boat, and you're there on it with like six other people who've also rented it. So it's quite, you know, closed quarters, and we're like, oh man, you know, who the hell are we gonna be with? Like, what are they gonna be like? We're gonna be with them for a full day. And I don't know if we just got lucky or something, but we were with the coolest bunch of people ever, okay? So we're with these like Australian people that used to be scientists, they were so interesting. We we're with this couple from New York. They worked in some like massive corporate firm. One was like a tax lawyer, the other was like an accountant. And then we we're with a Brazilian couple. So we had like four different continents four different countries and like honestly we just had the best time and it, it really made me realize that is what travel is largely about it's meeting new people that are completely outside of your social circle exchanging stories you know seeing what pe where people come from what they do for a living and uh, it was honestly just a highlight of trip to be honest when you combine that with like the food the views, I'm gonna put some drone shots on the screen. The food, the views, the whole atmosphere, everything, and just sailing back in at sunset is just, that was without a doubt one of the best days of my life, I'm not even joking. So on our last few days, we ended up spending a lot of time at this place called Cavo To Go, Cavo Taigu, I don't know, I, I'll put it on the screen, but it's, absolutely amazing and whoever's running their social media is killing it right it's got a huge following especially for a hotel so you may have heard of it before but uh, they welcomed us in uh, they were super nice they gave us nice food cocktails drinks by the pool and so <laughs> really crazy thing happened there okay so basically i'm there sitting by the pool and i'm talking to the creative director just uh, helping them get some shots for their page you know helping them with some videography talking about cameras shooting the breeze right and then all of a sudden he's like, oh, here's Jake. And Jake Paul, one of the biggest YouTubers on the planet, just strolls on up. And I'm just like, all right then. <laughs> so like, I'm a YouTuber, so obviously, you know, it, it's crazy to see one of the biggest YouTubers in the world just, just walk in and, you know, say what you want about him. But he came in and he joined the conversation. Super chill guy, okay? Yeah, uh, we were talking about MMA, fighting, uh, obviously his fight was recently, boxing, uh, YouTube, you know, Greece, what do you think, Mykonos, blah, 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 it was chill. Yeah, so we like got a photo, we exchanged numbers, and then we're like, yo, let's meet up later on tonight and go out. And we got a bottle and a table at this club. And again, we had, we had some good conversations, to be perfectly honest. And obviously when you get to that level of subscribers and that level of social media fame, like you're gonna get so much criticism. Like I've even noticed, you know, when I had less than 100,000 subscribers, I really got no hate at all. And now as a climbs, I still get very little hate, but you know, it's starting to be a little bit more. It's just kind of ratios. It's just like, you know, for every 99 comments are lovely that you get, you'll get one bad one. So obviously that is gonna grow the bigger your following is. So it's just important to not pay attention to those negative comments and pay attention to all the nice, positive and supportive ones. So yeah, we finished the night out, part of ways and then I actually flew back to Dublin just the following day around midday. Chill dude, 
uh, got along well, and it's kind of like, it begs the question, the age-old question, should you judge a book by its cover? I'll let you answer that one. But it was still just very interesting to meet, you know, someone in the YouTube game that is that large. Like, that is a different level to, like, what you see with, like, me, Christian, and Max. That is full-on, like, mainstream general population, not just, like, the YouTube fitness niche. Um, that where I would come from. So yeah, it was interesting to say the least. Anyways, I hope you liked the Mykonos footage. It was definitely one of my highlights of the entire summer. The Mykonos Tourism Board did not pay me to say this. I wish they did, but they didn't. So I definitely recommend going. But now that was kind of the end of my summer travels. I'll finish off the video here. Um, we are back to kind of more structured living. I have no more travel plans. And so it's gonna be back to the good old training, nutrition, and a nice structured routine. So thank you guys so much for following along this journey with me. I'll see you next time. Keep it real, peace.